Happy farming everyone and welcome to another awesome Heyday video. My name is Jennifer and here on YouTube I go by Gizmo Spike. In today's video I am going to be talking about my top 5 tips for new players just starting out on Heyday. So if you're new to the game stick around for a few minutes while I give you what I hope will be some excellent advice to help you along in your Heyday journey. Before we start though, please make sure that you hit that beautiful red subscribe button so you don't miss out on awesome videos like these in the future. Now, let's dive right in with tip number one. Tip number one, make your focus be on coins and not on XP. Don't rush leveling up. Instead, focus on keeping your machines running as often as possible. When you're actively playing, put in things like bread and cream and brown sugar that have a short production time. And when you walk away from the game for several hours, put in items that take longer to produce. Then take those items and sell them for full price in your roadside stands. You will naturally level up at a good speed and should have plenty of coins to buy the machines that you will need to progress through the game. Don't send trucks or boats, especially during double XP events. Otherwise you will level up too fast run out of coins, and get frustrated with the game. Certain events are good to do, like the truck events that give you expansion materials to expand your barn and silo. Other than that, you should mainly focus on just producing items and selling them for full price in your roadside stand. Trust me, you will be much happier when you level up and have enough coins to buy the machines that you need. If you really want to rush leveling up, then my advice would be to make sure that you have enough coins to buy the next two machines. You can find out how much each machine costs over on the Heyday Wiki, and I will drop the link to that in the description below. Tip number two, wheat as often as possible. Weeding is the act of planting wheat and then harvesting it. Depending on your level, every X amount of fields harvested will provide you with a free item that you'll see float up from the field and fly into your barn. Items that you can get are expansion materials to upgrade your barn and silo, land expansion tools once you reach level 22, mining tools, and axes and saws. Yes, it will bring you XP, but it will also bring you lots of coins and the free items that you get from harvesting the wheat. Remember to always make sure you have a couple of free spaces in your barn, otherwise you will not get the freebie from the harvest. You can either hold on to the items you get so you can expand your barn and silo, or sell them for full price in your roadside stand to bring you lots of coins. If you want my opinion on whether you should sell or keep the items you get from weeding, then my answer would be to keep them to upgrade unless you run out of space or are in dire need of coins. In the lower levels of the game, space isn't that big of an issue, but as you progress, the bigger your barn and silo, the better, as you will need to store more and more products and crops. Tip number three, don't cut down the original trees. This is actually kind of a controversial topic. I do know that there are some people who will disagree with me on this, but this is my opinion on the subject. The original trees are the only trees in the game that change color in the fall, get snow on them in the winter, and get the cute little jack-o'-lanterns added to them for Halloween. I did not know this when I chopped down every single beautiful tree on my main farm, and to this day I still regret that I did not know this about the trees when I chopped them all down. Now, you will have to clear some of them off your land in order to make room for all of your machines, as you can see that I've done here, and your fields and the trees and bushes that you will unlock as you progress through the game. Not to mention if you want to decorate, you'll need space for that as well. But my honest advice to you would be to only cut down what you absolutely must in order to have the space you need. Trust me, when you see how beautiful your farm looks in the fall, I guarantee you will thank me. Tip number four. Connect your farm to Supercell ID. I cannot stress enough how important this is. This ensures that you can never ever lose your farm that you have worked so hard to make. And it also means that you can have your farm on multiple devices like your phone and tablet, or can easily transfer your farm if you purchase a new phone. All you need is an email address and about two minutes of your time to connect it. All you need to do is tap on the cogwheel on the upper left hand side of your screen, then on the button that says Supercell ID and just follow the prompts. You will be sent a code in your email, which you'll need to enter into the game, so make sure you have access to whatever email address that you're using. You'll know you're connected if your button is green like mine is here on the screen. It's super easy, and if you need more help on this, I do have an excellent tutorial video on Supercell ID that I will link in the description below. And last, but not least, 
And honestly, I think this is the most important tip I can give you. If you don't listen to any of my other advice, I hope you'll listen to this one. There is no wrong way to play this game. Sure. If you follow my advice, will you have an easier time playing it? Yes. But if you level up too fast and run out of coins, does it mean you're a bad player? Definitely not. Heyday is a very relaxing game. Play it how you want to. Want to rush levels? Do it. Want to chop down all your trees? Go right ahead. Don't want to play on Harvest Weed for free stuff? Okay, honestly, I might actually give you a hard time about that one. But honestly, just play the game and have fun. I hope that these tips were helpful for you. Heyday is my favorite game. I play it every single day. I have met people from all over the world while playing it and I've developed friendships that I hope will last a lifetime. If you think there's something that I've missed or there's something that you would like me to cover in a future video, please let me know in the comments below. And remember, if you are not already subscribed to my channel, it is free to subscribe to a channel on YouTube, but it will make me very, very happy. So hit that beautiful red subscribe button and don't forget to tick the notification bell so you know when I go live and I post new videos. Happy farming. Weeding is life. Peace. It's heyday, it's heyday, it's heyday.